Hey guys, this is Lewis with Geek Up here with my quick unboxing and full review of the ZX100 mini speaker for my girlfriends at Kenovo. Now, if you've been watching us for a while and been visiting our website, you will know that it's been a while since we, you know, unboxed, tested, and reviewed a Kenovo product. But neither the less, we love Kenovo and they have presented us with yet another product to bring to you guys. Now, this right here, like I said, is a ZX100 mini speaker. Now, there's some good things and some bad things, but we'll get to all of that at the end. So, in the front, it says Kenovo. In the middle, you can see the little speaker, and at the very bottom, it gets you the title name. You flip it to the side, it gives you some of the features on how to use a resonator that's built right inside. On the back is some of the specification, contents, barcode, and all that greatness. You also get a one-year warranty. And on the right side, you get some of the main features, which include pocket speaker, extensive resonator, and your buddy plug, and all those great things. So guys, give me a quick second, and I come back in a flash to give you my full review. Alright guys, and welcome back. So the first thing I want to show you is this kind of cable jumbo right here. Now this right here allows you to extend the audio cable, which is 3.5 millimeters, as well as charging your device and connecting an external device as well. Very nice. Like always, you have a user manual slash getting started guide to help you get started with it. And I do recommend watching this because, or excuse me, reading this, because it's very helpful with this kind of speaker. You also have this Kenovo branded type of carrying case that comes with it. And I really do like this, and yes, I use this uh, for the speaker because keeping your device and accessories protected at all times is key. Last but not least is the speaker itself. So guys say hello to the ZX100 mini speaker. Now before I give you the pros, cons and all that greatness, I'm going to talk about what the speaker can provide to you. So in the very top is this canola, very nice. You always see this threaded type of design around it. Now that right there can easily be opened by twisting from left to right, like so. And boom, you just have open a resonator. And you don't know what resonator is basically allowing the audio to become more well-rounded as well as giving the bass more room to outcome itself. So we can close it up by pushing down and twist it from right to left very easily. Alright, and then on this side it says Kenovo with the branding. Really do like it. To open, you push that. To turn the volume button down, volume up and your power button. To turn it on, all you have to do is hold it down between 3 to 5 seconds. On the very bottom, it says Kenovo ZX100 mini speaker and some information about Kenovo. You also have this little buddy plug like I mentioned earlier, which includes a built-in 3.5mm audio jack so you won't have to carry an extra cable with you and I will tell you why. On the sides, you have your micro USB cable to charge it. It takes about 2 hours to charge but you get between 6 to 8 hours of usage. On this side you have an extra port. Now this port is used to connect multiple mini speakers so you have more than one of these you can connect them all together to bring the sound out of um, your speakers as well as your device. I haven't tested it out since so I don't have one of these. And you also have your 3.5 millimeter audio jack to insert your cable. Now guys, I want to tell you the good things and the bad things before I get too far. Now the good thing is that this is small, it's portable, it's lightweight, and it's actually very unique. I really do like the way they have designed it. On the gray, the black, and the dark purple looks beautiful. I'm not really a fan of purple, but I really do love pink. And this right here would be good enough. Now, that's on the pro side. Now, as well as on the pro side, the audio is fantastic, it's clear, it's crisp, and this little bad boy right here can get extremely loud, extremely quick. So even though you may hit 100 on your smartphone, your tablet, etc., you actually can go even louder by using the volume up button on the mini speaker itself. Now, I do not recommend that because the audio becomes distorted and kind of unbearable, so you know, keep between 80 to 90 percent when you're on the speaker and you know go completely out on your device otherwise the bass is pretty darn good this mini speaker has surprised me and it's all because of the resonator that's built inside and i really do like it which brings me to my next point now this is a mini speaker and it's a pocket speaker right and that's all good now this way reminds me of the bass buds which also has a resonator built inside as well except the bass buds have bluetooth 
Now I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of you know bringing along extra cables, or even using a built-in cable, even though Canova has you know provided that, and I thank them for that. But using Bluetooth is kind of key nowadays since a lot of devices are Bluetooth enabled and Bluetooth compatible. So this doesn't have Bluetooth, and I'm not saying that's a deal breaker, but if they could change it in the future, I would recommend adding Bluetooth. Otherwise, having the built-in um, 3.5 millimeter cable is helping keep the price down. Otherwise, it's a fantastic speaker. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much my quick unboxing and full review of the ZX100 mini speaker for my girlfriends at Kenovo. We love it, and I do recommend it. So if you do want to pick it up for yourself, you can purchase via links in the description down below. Also, if you want down there, please do get a big thumbs up. It helps a lot. Until next time, stay awesome and have a fantastic day. Peace.